In this video, I am going to change the condenser fan motor and capacitor in this rude heat pump. First, I will turn the power off. Now I can take this panel off. Now I'm going to confirm that there's no voltage to this unit. There's no voltage from line to line, no voltage from line to ground, and no voltage from line to other ground. So now I can disconnect the run capacitor and the condenser fan motor. Now I can take this capacitor out. There's two screws holding it in. I'm thinking I will mount the capacitors like this, and I'll have a strap come around the bottom and then up to this. I have a self-topping screw in the end of this, and I'll put it into the strap. I also confirmed that there's no pipes or wires under this. Now I'll put my capacitor in here, and now the run capacitor. And if I bend this like this, then I think I can get a screw into the other hole. I'll go ahead and cut the strap right now. Put a screw in here. Now I'm reconnecting the wires to this capacitor. So now I've connected everything except the condenser fan motor, and I'm going to change that right now. And to mark my bad capacitors, I'm using a sharpie and putting an X on the capacitor box. Now I can take this grill off for the condenser fan motor. And to show you again how the bearings are bad, it should not stop like that. Now I can take this blade off. Luckily, this came off very easily. This motor is bad and will go into the trash, but I will want to mark where the blade sat on this motor with the new motor, just so I can get the fan in the correct position. This is the new condenser fan motor I am using. Be aware that it is not an OEM motor. When selecting your motor, you will want to ensure it has the same specs so I've lined up these motors and I just used the sharpie to make a mark on here. And while I'm at this, I can take the strain plug out of here because I'm mounting this in a shaft down configuration. So I've used the flathead screwdriver to pry this out of here. Since this one is mounted by the nuts and bolts, I'm going to start by taking these off. Now I'll line these holes up and then put slide this motor into here. Now I can tighten these nuts. These don't have to be super tight, just snugging it down a little bit will suffice. There is a ground wire on this motor, but the other one didn't have one, so this should not need one either. This is the wiring diagram for this motor. I believe I have CCWLE, which is counterclockwise lead end. From the lead end would be this bottom side. So I will flip this around to make it black to black and white to white. And since this is a three line circuit, I can clip the brown slash white wire, which is this one. So I've cut the ground wire and the brown slash white wire. I'm putting tape around the wire nut on the brown white wire so water does not get in. And then I'll put a zip tie around the other wires to help secure them so they don't go into the blades. I'm using the double zip tie method where I have this top zip tie holding the wires connected to a zip tie on the bottom. It helps separate the wires from the metal because otherwise they'd be right against it. These ends need spade connectors, so I'm going to put the spade connectors on. Then I can mount the fan and then put the wires through the conduit and mount the assembly. Because these studs are also interfering with the blade, I will have to remove them. Now I can line up the set screw hole, begin tightening this fan blade at the mark I made. Now I can go ahead and push the wire through this conduit. I detached the electrical box so it would be a little bit easier to grab the wires from the other side. Now I'm pushing these wires through and I'll go ahead and grab them on the other side. Now I can tighten these screws. And now I can tighten the screws for the electrical box. 
Now I can go ahead and pull the wires through for the condenser fan motor. As you can see from the image on screen, this is the wiring diagram for the motor. So I'll put the brown to the fan on the capacitor, the white to the common on the capacitor, and the black to the other pole on the contactor that does not connect to the common. Now I can tidy up flying wires. I can turn the power back on and ensure the fan is spinning in the correct direction and that the unit is working correctly. The thermostat's not calling, so if I give this a bump start, then the fan is turning the correct direction. So I can put the panels back on the unit and finish this job up. So that was replacing the condenser fan motor and this removed heat pump. I will look into getting a new blade due to the wobble, but this is all for today's video. I have a Discord server, link is in the description, please subscribe.